Hi, my name is William Sutcliffe and I'm the author of this book, The Gifted, the Talented and Me. I am delighted to be shortlisted for this year's Scottish Teenage Book Prize. The Gifted, the Talented and Me is about our hero, Sam. He's 15 years old. He's a very ordinary kid from an ordinary family in an ordinary, quite boring town, Stevenage. And suddenly, unexpectedly, his uh, family becomes rich and his parents whisk him away to a fancy part of London and send him to a fancy school called the North London Academy for the Gifted and Talented, which is a school I've made up as a kind of satire on this idea of everybody wanting to be famous and beautiful and wonderful and a musician or an actor. And this kid who just wants to be ordinary ends up in a school surrounded by people who want to be rock stars and movie stars. And all he wants is to be ordinary. And it's about what he has to do to try and fit in in this new place. The thing that made me want to write this book was actually a trip to uh, my local bookshop, the Edinburgh Bookshop. And at this point, my son was about 14 at the time, was ill in bed. And I spoke to the bookseller, who knows us and him very well, and said that he just wants cheering up. He doesn't want anything depressing or gloomy or miserable. He just wants something funny um, to read while he's not feeling well. And, and she said, well, has he read Adrian Mole? Has he read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which he had? Um, and she said, well, for kind of teenage boys, that feels like it's just about it. And she also knows that I'm a writer. And she said to me, well, maybe you should write one. Weirdly, I started off writing books for adults, which were mainly funny. And then later on, I ended up writing books for teenagers, which were mainly quite serious and quite political. And I suddenly thought maybe these things could sort of come together. What if I write a funny book for teenagers? Um, because living with a teenager, I realised that it's certainly not all doom and gloom. It's actually a very funny time of life and there are, there are ups and downs, but there are definitely ups. And he, he seems to have more of a laugh with his mates than I do with mine. Um, so that humour of, sort of teenage years seems so important and I, what I wanted to do was to try and capture that in the book. It's hard to say whether the novel is about my experience or not. It's certainly not in any direct way. The school that the book is set in is completely fictional. I've made it up. But I think the sort of kernel of truth in it, I hope, comes from the idea that I think it's a reflection of something that's happening in society and something that's um, affecting all of us in the sense that I think through social media, everybody wants to be on stage and nobody wants to be in the audience. Everybody feels they have to be special. So there's, there's, yeah, every novel needs a bit of truth at the heart of it. And the truth at the heart of this isn't that it's a, a reflection of what my teenage years were like at all. But, um, but I think what's true at the heart of it is that all of us, young and older, are under increasing pressure to uh, to kind of perform our lives more and believe that we have to be special. And the idea that being ordinary isn't enough seems to me a very contemporary one and something that's potentially sort of damaging. And I think when you write a satire, it needs an engine underneath it all of something that's sort of outraging you or exercising you as a as a citizen, I suppose. And yet, although, uh, although the jokes are central to this novel, what makes a a satire, a very special kind of comedy, is it's trying to make you laugh at something that the that the author also does take quite seriously. Um, so I think, I hope there's something serious at the heart of this book about the way society is changing and the way we ought to, the things we ought to value about ourselves are not always the things that the world around us are telling us to value. Uh, the book that most inspired me to want to write this book is Secret Diary of Adrian Mole by Sue Townsend. It's The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, aged 13 and three quarters is the full title. And I was almost exactly his age when the book came out. So it was almost as if it was written for me. And it was a huge hit in the 80s. Every teenager seemed to read it and everybody's mum also seemed to read it. It was just, it just crossed all, all boundaries. And it's very funny and it's still very funny. And it inspired me in a sense that I think it might have been a formative book that made me want to write. I'd certainly never enjoyed a book as much as I enjoyed that one because I've always liked comedy. And that, that was the first book that I think really made me laugh out loud and made me want to kind of read bits out to whoever was in the room with me. 
it seems amazing to me that there are so f all these years have gone by and there are so few other books that have tried to do what that book does so i reread it before i wrote this and it was in a very direct way an inspiration something that in a way has been seeded in my mind for literally decades so it's to me like there's a gap in the shelves the world needs more books like that too much young adult fiction is very dark and miserable and books aren't homework there's something you read, you read for pleasure and for enjoyment, and the humour is a huge part of that. Um, so I, I hope, above all, that this is a book that people enjoy. So thank you very much uh, for watching this little video. I very much hope you enjoy the book and also the other books on the shortlist. So, happy reading. <laughs>